everyone, this is Nadia, award-winning mentor, award-winning author, class sentient psychic, and founder at Spark Night. Today I'm going to be covering why do people fear failure so much? So I literally just got back home from a really nice brunch in the city, and there was a really interesting topic that the hostess and another lady who had attended the event were speaking about, and that is um, the fear of failure or the fear of feeling like an imposter or the, feel- the, the, the feeling of never feeling good enough no matter what you do inside yourself, and you feel like everybody's watching you um, and that they're going to laugh at you and that they're going to make fun of you and... It's not far from the truth because really that does happen and I really I want to cover um, as much as time and I guess my my video uh, footage <laughs> allows me to do so. Okay, so the fear of failure is as tantamount and paramount as the fear of success. The fear of failure, contrary to popular belief, is not the fear of people will laugh at me, people will make fun of me, people will say mean, nasty and horrible things. Um, People are generally supposed to say mean, nasty and horrible things about you because most people are failures in life. They don't get anywhere because they're too busy laughing at everyone else. They're busy laughing at people who have the courage to try and not succeed or perhaps not find themselves within an arena as opposed to Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're laughing at someone's poorly written book, but how many books have you written? You're laughing at someone's business isn't making X amount of money, but how many businesses do you start? Um, You're laughing at someone's parenting skills, but how many kids do you have? So it's, it's always... It's always fools that like laughing at others. That's what I usually say. I don't censor myself on my blog, on my YouTube. We already have enough censored and miserable people in the world. We don't need um, Spark Night to be added to it as well. All right. So the main thing when it comes to a fear of failure, fear of failure is to me um, something that I really used to struggle with a long time ago in my first business. Um, I used to think, God, what if it doesn't work out? What if it crashes to the ground? Hey, you know what? It did. So tough shit okay and I really learned a lot about myself in that point and I what I truly learned about myself was that it was not the 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 fear of other people laughing at me it was not the fear of other people um saying horrible cruel and mean things behind my back which which they did anyway like I said at the start of the video people will say that that's part of their nature that's just for you to grow from But what I realized more than anything, working with the spirits that I work with and the beings that I work with, that failure told me in no uncertain terms, I can't even trust myself. Of what use is anything, of what use are my own guidance, of what what use is my own advice to anybody else, if whatever I truly put my heart into didn't even work out. That's what we truly fear. We don't fear the failure. We don't fear other people looking at us. We fear failing ourselves we fear that we've talked this good game and we've hyped this good game up and now we're at a point where wow it didn't work out and now it's that it's rooted in lack of self-belief which i come back to i come back to the tenets of belief or the tenets of the self essentially self-belief self-discipline self-integrity self-worth self-care self-love everything starts from the self everybody is trying to find a a new marketing strategy everybody's trying to find new clients people are trying to find this people are trying to find that everything starts with the self when you have mastered yourself and you truly know who you are in this world Understanding other people is going to be easy because you can relate to them at a very personal level. Now, fear of failure, I think, is quite normal. It comes with starting a project. Who wants to pour all their all into something and then come to find out, oh, man, it didn't even work out. What what the hell? I beat myself up for so many years for a failure that was not even mine. It was orchestrated through, obviously, a a lot of you know my story, that I had very severe, strong black magic put on me. I had uh, four gin spirits that were exercised and taken out of me. So it didn't fail on my own accord it was forced to fail so that was even harder for me when people say how 
did it feel that your business sold? Well, it fucking didn't. That's the point. It was forced out of me. And it was a type of loss that for so many months after it, I just used to sit at jobs and just cry in the toilets, cry, cry, cry. I had poured everything of myself as a young woman into that. And to see it watch and crash to the ground was one of the most devastating things after my father died. Um, and it, it truly spoke to me of how little I believed in myself because I was always so worried it would be taken away from me. Today, obviously, I come from a place in Spark Night where I know nobody can ever take Spark Night away from me because she runs in my blood, she is in my veins, and, and Spark Night brand is a manifestation of everything that I choose to do. And when we are not sure about ourselves and we lack self-belief, what ends up coming to happen is that, yes, indeed, that thing is taken away from us because we don't really have the belief in it. So what happens with many people is they don't want to take a step down in society's eyes. Say, for instance, you have a very well-paying job. It is not about you per se. You may have your dream you want to work on. You may have your business you want to work on. You may have something else you want to work on. It's, oh my God, what will people say? There are very many phrases in one of the languages I speak, my God, what will people say? Because so many of you watching are so concerned about everybody else's fucking opinions apart from yourself. Get very comfortable with your own damn opinions and then that way you don't have to look for approval from other people. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? Who gives a shit? Just do it. If there's no right or wrong thing, either way, all of us learn from this mistakes. I always say to some of my clients, can you imagine when you were young and your parents looked at you as a little baby, a little boy or a little girl, and thought, my God, this child is hopeless. It can't even walk. What did they do? They taught you how to stand up. It gave you a little finger and then, come on, let's walk, let's walk, stand, fall again, okay, stumble. All right, come, let's do it again, let's do it again. They kept going. So why is it that we are so persistent with our children? I don't have children as of yet, but I, you know, some of my friends have children. And I always say, how come you can be so persistent with the children, but you're not persistent with yourself? You know, failure isn't the end of things. Failure done well inspires millions. I look at some people's stories and I'm like, wow, you crashed to the ground and you're not supposed to be alive, but you are. I am one of those testimonials. I am not supposed to be alive. I'm not supposed to be here, but here I am and I'm thriving and I'm happy with Spark Night. And I am so grateful for every single person who has found their life path, their glory, their honor through it. And had I not gone through what I went through, I wouldn't have been able to help the people that come to me today. And some of you are so scared to even Turn the ignition on because you're terrified that once your foot hits the gas, you won't be able to control it. Well, let me tell you something. Um, a lot of you need to get out of control. You, you need to have that car get so out of control that you smash the tree, you hit your head, and you need to be like comatose. You, you need to go through that experience. Some of you trying to tiptoe around success. You need to go head first, balls deep, dive, fail. Just do whatever it is. It's a massive disaster because... Lots of you are trying to get success, but you're com com kind of coming from a place of, let me tiptoe around success. You can't tiptoe around success. That's not how it works. Success has to be you go all in. If things go bust, they go bust. But you, is that that saying um, somebody once said to me, that, that the saying reminded them of me, that, you know, Everybody else likes to go small, but here, here I am, I like to go big and I'll fuck it up, basically. Yeah, that sounds like a spark night strategy. That's not me endeavoring people that you put your life at risk and put your mortgage and your rent at risk and do everything. Take calculated risks, but stop trying to tiptoe yourself all the time and think, should I do it? Should I not do it? Don't give your brain that space and that anxiety. Just go ahead and do it. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? The person won't respond to your message. The person won't accept your date. The person won't won't accept your business plan, a deal falls through, your money is taken, you're scammed, the client fucked you over. It doesn't really make a difference. That is how you learn. Whether it's in life, whether it's in love, whether it's in business, whether it's in war, you learn through experience. And one cannot have the experience of life minus trying so many things that have not worked out because you are not expected to get things right on the first try. This is the problem with school. School teaches you you're a failure, you're stupid. If you fail, you make mistakes. In the business world, we know the more mistakes you've made, the faster mistakes you've made, you now know what you don't have to ever make again. So I wanna wrap up and keep this pretty short and say that 
fear of failure is not what will other people think of me as much as everybody watching this video thinks it's a uh, oh my god will people look at me you know what people don't give a shit about you i just want to make this super clear people are so busy thinking does anybody else look at me and you go out and circle 10 people and everybody thinks that people are looking at them no one cares just get on with it is what i usually say so when you can heal that lack of self-belief within yourself that is the most important thing when it comes to the fear of failure you will never fear losing or letting go or bringing new things in the floorboards moving when you truly don't care about other people's opinions and how they feel you live the only time you're miserable inside is when you give your power to other people and when you're constantly worried what do they think of me who gives a shit? They're not paying your mortgage, they're not paying your rent, they're sure ain't paying your bills, they're not clothing you, you're not feeding you, so don't give them that power. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope to see you from you soon. Take care. Bye.